How was the offspring able to grow so fast? The Xenomorph, an apex predator and icon of sci-fi, has baffled audiences with its rapid growth and adaptation. This enigma has evolved over the franchise's history, with the creature's life cycle becoming increasingly accelerated in recent iterations. From Alien 1979 to Alien Romulus, the time from chestburster to fully grown adult has shortened dramatically. In Romulus, the offspring takes this to its pinnacle, growing from an infant to a towering eight-foot creature in mere minutes. This video examines the xenomorph's evolving growth patterns, exploring plausible explanations for its extraordinary biology. Theories include molecular compaction, metabolic efficiency, the influence of black goo, and environmental absorption. Additionally, insights into the creature's feeding behavior provide a deeper understanding of its life cycle. In Alien 1979, the xenomorph's growth was disturbingly rapid, but somewhat plausible. After emerging as a chestburster, it disappears into the Nostromo's corridors, reappearing as a fully grown adult just hours later. The novelization of the movie provides clues. In a scene, the xenomorph is described as consuming the ship's food stores. In the RPG book published by Leading Edge Games, the aliens eat some pretty strange stuff, like glass and dirt, to fuel their growth. In Aliens, the xenomorph life cycle remained consistent, but in later films like Alien Covenant, the process became dramatically faster. For example, Neomorphs mature within minutes of emerging, bypassing the slow growth stages seen in earlier films. Romulus pushes this concept even further with the offspring, a creature that grows to full size without apparent access to food, until it feeds on Kay, one of the protagonists. This shocking scene reveals that the offspring suckles black goo from Kay's body, linking its rapid development to the mysterious substance introduced in Prometheus. Okay. So, here are the five most popular theories going around that might explain this rapid growth. Number one, molecular compaction theory. Molecular compaction suggests that the xenomorph begins life in a highly dense state, with much of its mass compacted. Upon emerging, the creature rapidly unpacks its molecular structure, allowing it to grow without consuming significant resources. This theory aligns with the xenomorph's depiction as the perfect organism capable of bypassing the constraints of traditional biology. The offspring in Romulus exemplifies this concept. Its near instantaneous growth suggests an inherent ability to expand rapidly, relying less on external nutrients and more on pre-stored biological energy. Number two, metabolic efficiency. Another explanation lies in the xenomorph's exceptional metabolic adaptations. Across the franchise, the creatures are shown thriving in resource-scarce environments. The novelization of Alien 1979 describes the creature raiding food supplies, hinting at a diverse diet. Oh my god. I've never seen anything like it. Doctor. What is it, Doctor? I'm fine. Get the t-shirt. Other sources suggest that xenomorphs can consume inorganic substances like metal, to reinforce their chitinous exoskeletons. This theory suggests that they can eat pretty much anything to grow. Number three, black goo influence. The black goo introduced in Prometheus is central to understanding the xenomorph's accelerated life cycle. This mutagenic substance enhances and reshapes organic life, bypassing traditional biological constraints. In Covenant, the neomorphs, directly influenced by the black goo, exhibit life cycles far faster than any previous xenomorphs. In Romulus, the offspring's growth is directly linked to its consumption of black goo from Kay's body. This act suggests that the black goo not only enhances the creature's biology, but also serves as an energy source, accelerating its development to an unprecedented degree. Number 4. Environmental Absorption some theories propose that xenomorphs absorb nutrients from their surroundings at a molecular level. In Alien, the creature's acidic blood is shown corroding through metal, hinting at its ability to dissolve and extract materials. A popular fan theory supported by expanded lore suggests that the dorsal tubes on a xenomorph's back 
may function as absorptive organs, pulling ambient matter from the environment. This idea explains how the offspring in Romulus could grow so quickly, despite having no visible food source prior to feeding on K. Its ability to metabolize environmental materials would make it highly adaptable, capable of thriving in even the most barren conditions. Number 5. The Battery Theory The Xenomorph, with its acid blood, is essentially born like a battery. The trade-off for the Xenomorph's rapid growth is a shortened lifespan, much like a battery running out. The sheer speed of its cellular division may result in biological instability, prioritizing reproduction over longevity. This aligns with the creature's role as a biological weapon, designed for efficiency rather than endurance. In Romulus, the offspring's volatility may reflect this instability, making it a creature optimized for immediate survival and destruction. In Romulus, the offspring's feeding on K introduces a new dimension to its feeding behavior. By consuming black goo from her body, the creature demonstrates a direct dependency on this mutagenic substance, which accelerates its already rapid growth. In conclusion, the Xenomorph's ability to grow rapidly has evolved with the franchise, shifting from subtle suggestions of scavenging to overtly miraculous biology. The offspring in Romulus represents the pinnacle of this evolution, combining molecular compaction, metabolic efficiency, and the influence of black goo to achieve its extraordinary growth. While its exact mechanisms remain speculative, the creature's adaptability highlights its status as a perfect organism, one that continues to defy the boundaries of biology and captivate audiences with its terrifying potential. So what did you make of the growth rate of the offspring? A cool addition or just plain ridiculous? Also, check out the I'm Fine t-shirt in our store the perfect gift for sci-fi fans. Until next time, stay frosty and alert.